Welcome guys, thank you for joining us here on our new video. Really excited that you're here with us this morning. And we just sat here, just talking really, finding out a bit about what we've been up to recently. But we want to share some ideas and concepts with yourself. So, um, how have you been getting on, Tony, over the last... Well, it's all good, Mike. Yeah, uh, yeah every day is an adventure, as good. you know. And um, yes, I think the most important thing I'm learning at the moment uh, on, on this journey that we often talk about is the importance of keeping control of, of the chatter. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, keeping control of the, that constant... I was explaining to somebody uh, the other day how when you walk around and you're, you're talking to people, you could be working, you could actually be doing some, some manual labour, um, the frontal lobe of your brain needs stimulus. It needs something to be working on. Mm. Now, it doesn't care what it is that you put into it, it will uh, just get on with whatever. So if you're feeding that mm. with negativity and worry and doubt and fear, it's just going to keep rolling that round and round and round. So do you think there's a way that we can look to manage that more effectively and make us less anxious perhaps? Or what's your thoughts on that? I, I think the most important thing is, is to, to look at the operating system. Because if you think about a computer, if your computer was not performing in the way that you wanted it to, and that computer was, was doing the wrong thing, it wasn't doing its reboot, it wasn't doing its, its security check, and you knew there was something wrong with it, and you couldn't solve that, what would be the first thing you'd do? Well, the smart person would take it to the shop and go get some help and speak to someone who's a computer engineer exactly. or a computer wizard exactly. and yeah. they'll help you sort that out. Yeah. Exactly, you go to find an expert. Yeah, you yeah. go to find somebody that's demonstrating their skill at reversing that process. Yeah. So you take it somewhere. Now, to bring that across to the real world, that might be a person that you go to see. So the, the first tip is if you're finding that, that you're suffering from anxiety, doubt, worry, fear, that repetitive, oh, you know, the bills are coming at the end of the month, or how can I do this, how can I do that, life's not working out for me, go and seek out an expert that is demonstrating the opposite of that. So the operating system is just is. Mm -hmm. It just gets on with, with whatever it has, to, whatever it's been delivered with. So go and seek expert help. Then they, the first, then, then what would that person do? What, if you put the computer in front of that person, what, what would be the next thing that that expert would do with the system? They would run some tests with them. They would look and say, right, what seems to be the problem here? What's causing that fault? They would, in, in effect, dissect the problem, wouldn't they? Was Perfect, that, right. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they take the computer apart and they take the hard drive out <laughs> and they'd have a good look around in there and they'd, they'd work at it and they'd fix the problem. Yeah, yeah. They'd probably put something in that was a positive. Mm as opposed to a negative. So there's a virus in there, let's get rid of it and put something in positive. So, so we as... should be taking the same steps forward with ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So find, find somebody or somewhere to go uh, where there are people demonstrating the, the, the things that you do want mm. and then they can help you fix it. And then you reverse the process. So instead of the chatter being negative all the time, and it takes effort, mm. it, there's going to be conflict. Yeah. because it's a habit. Mm. And I was talking to somebody the other day about negative chatter, is that it's a habit. Yeah. And, and believe it or not, your body and your subconscious mind likes that habit, because yeah. it keeps it safe. It's kind of like when I'm speaking to my clients in the gym, it's all about um, being aware that you have to form new habits. And as you're talking about there, people who maybe have this negative chatter, this anxiety, that's not their default mode, but it's a habit that they've formed. So in order to, as you say, reverse that, they have to start developing new habits and replacing those old patterns of thought, those old chattering conversations with new conversations. So maybe positive affirmations and positive statements that are going to help them feel a little bit better about where their current situation is. is, that, is, that, is that something? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if I throw a question over to you now, Mike, yeah. uh, it's always good for this. You, you were there and you want to be over there mm -hmm. with the way that your mind is functioning, but there's that grey middle area that you've got to get through. Mm -hmm. A bit like when you do fitness. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. don't you, Mike, that if you want to get fit, <laughs> You start off at the beginning and there's that grey area where it's like, oh, I have to go out for the run. I've got to, f I've got to go through a bit of a, a, a conflict mm -hmm. of paradigms. And paradigms are there inside your 
psychology to keep you doing the same thing because when we were cave people going back thousands of years ago if we stepped out of our habitual habits we'd probably be eaten by a big yeah, yeah, yeah. tiger or something or or lion you've got that uh, herd mentality don't you? yes everyone yeah. else is doing it so and they're safe so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do the same so so how so the question i got asked the day by somebody was well that's great but what about that grey middle area? How, what do I do to get from there to there? And I, I basically said, well, you can't get from there whoosh, up to there. You've got to, how would you work that well, first month? Well, the simple word that is, is following a plan. Understanding and submitting and just following a plan. And I think why people come to see me as a coach or to see any sort of coach, because coaches have plans, programs, systems, blueprints, formulas, whatever you want to call them, that allow people to work through getting from where they are now and getting from there to there over a period of time, whether it's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six months, a year. Following the plan, it's just as you talked about, there is that going to be that resistance, but we aren't there yet in terms of if we're traveling from here to Lanzarote, we can't just click our fingers and get in Lanzarote. There is that process of packing my bags, getting in a taxi, taxi takes me to the airport, from the airport, I go on the plane, plane flies over the water and gets me down to my destination, Lanzarote. And it's the same thing. You understand that, you're quite comfortable and you're quite okay with that. And it's the same thing when you're changing um, fitness habits. And I suppose what you're saying as well, if someone is anxi anxious at the moment, some suffering with anxiety, feeling stressed or a bit of worry about the situation, that's because they've formed these habits that they keep repeating in the head. So they have to form new habits and what I'm suggesting is that by following a plan or learning to behave in a different way, that will take them from where they are now, following the steps, step by step by step, get them to the, the ideal. And, and in today's society <laughs> where you want instant gratification, yeah, it's, it, it's hard. Yeah. So, so you also have to explain to people, just be you're very good at saying this. You said, just step back a bit, yeah. be, be soothe into it, be gentle on yourself because it's not going to come in one no. foul swoop. You know, you know, you might get out of ten, you might get one or two or three bits of that feeling right at mm -hmm. the beginning, but that's okay yeah. because you're learning. So again, I was I was talking to to somebody the other day, and and I was explaining that the fact that you know it's a gradual process, mm -hmm. and and. The first day, you might find that you, you get to 12 o'clock lunchtime and, you, and then you slip back again. Okay, that's okay as long as the next day you work it maybe to one o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. But I think also, this is so important, is having somebody that you can meet, not once a week, but be in contact with every day. Would you say that's important in terms of... Yeah, I think, well, we've talked about it before, haven't we? The importance of an environment that is conducive to your change. Um, I talk about this in my book where I had a client, <coughs> excuse me, and I've seen her for a period of time and like many clients, very enthusiastic when they start and um, she wanted to lose some weight after giving birth to her children and she started off, you know, well, I'd given her a diet plan to follow, obviously I was meeting her in the gym to go through a series of exercises, but as often does happen or can happen with clients is that that motivation tends to wane a little bit focus tends to go and then she began to uh, cancel sessions and she wasn't um, being as committed all the time to the exercises so she said to me you know i find it very difficult um, to follow your diet advice and your nutrition advice and so i said just tell me what the problem is she says, well it's my husband he doesn't like me eating healthy foods, so it's very difficult for me. And that was a real aha moment for me mm -hmm. because it's all well and good me saying, okay, Mrs. Brown, you go away and eat that food. But she's going back to an environment where she's been discouraged to change. Mm -hmm. It's not been, she's not been supportive in the right mm -hmm. way. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. So it's very important, as you say, that you can speak with someone, whether it's on a daily basis, but definitely on a weekly basis to say, Come on, we're going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Keep things going. Mm -hmm. um, often it's obviously better, mm -hmm. but yeah, if you can have someone there that's going to support you and guide you, going back to what we were saying, giving you that helping hand like a coach will or a mentor will do on the way. Here to uh, leave you with a question to think about. 
uh, for those of you that are still in doubt, still, well, this is, I'm a bit confused still. Let me ask you this question. If I was to say to you that if you were to wake in the morning in a depressed anxiety uh, vibration or mood, and you carried that on through the day, would your day as a result of that go downhill or would it go uphill? Would it improve or would it get worse? Now, when I ask that question to most people, they will say to me, well, it's obvious that my day is going to go downhill. OK, let me ask you this question. What if you changed your vibration to being a positive vibration with all of the things that Mike and I have talked about on a moment to moment basis throughout your day? Would your day go upwards? Or downwards? Mr. Hendricks, what would you say? Well, I think we'll leave that thought. <laughs> what I will say is leave us a comment below. Um, it's a very poignant question, and I'm sure you, if you think about it for a moment, you will find out your own personal answer. So, as I say, leave a comment below, um, and let us know what your thoughts are on the answer. So, we're going to summarise here and just say thank you for joining us again. We're going to be back very soon with another video. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with your circle of influence and if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you're up to date with our latest and greatest videos. Okay, so this is Mike, Tony, until next time, to your success. To your success.